What's up guys, what's going on? Dank back again, and today we're going to be looking at the gameplay for the Machine Society characters that are coming out in just a couple days. Pretty excited, I've been reading a lot of the comments on the uh, on their subreddit and just, just getting really, really hyped for, <laughs> for the gameplay and the characters themselves. So, <clears throat> I mean, this is straight up from the uh, live stream, I believe it was last night. So, just get right on into it and let's see what we got. So, <clears throat> I think I think Lolly is first, yep. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here we go. All right, so she's gonna be ranged. She will have burn. So that's gonna be good. Her character model looks great, though. Oh. All those normal attacks are so cool looking. Giant fireballs. Oh, it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of an AOE to it. All right, looks like a strong attack one is just a straightforward beam. Okay, second strong is a um, kind of mini vortex. Potentially full screen. Third. Yeah. Okay. So straight up, straight beam for SA one. Wow, this map looks fantastic. So her second strong attack is very similar to like a lot of a lot of ones, a lot of characters that come out recently. Uh, Cacao Society, Soy Phone, uh, Can't Figure Own World Berrigan. Uh, a, a number of characters have have that uh, SA2 where it gathers everybody up in a vortex and then pushes everything forward. I can't tell. If her third strong is a full screen or not, I'll oh, look at this. Spe <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The uh, the recticles on her on her eye. That 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 was really really sweet. And she's cute AF too, dude. Super super cute. The red and black looks great with the with the bronze and all the metal parts. That's that's a really 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 really, really cool character. And then, yeah, this is just the concept art. Alright, that's that's cool, man. She looks like a fantastic character. Let's see, skip forward a little bit. There's Retsu. Retsu looks great, too. Alright, skip forward a little bit more. I mean, just, just one second. Yeah, look, you got the butterfly wings on the back, butterfly wings on her head, on her hat, rather. And that fan, that fan looks really sweet. Oh, Mekazuki. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, gameplay, let's do it. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's see. So freeze on everything except her normal, paralysis on her normal. That's so cool that she rides on Mekazuki. All right, little electricity based uh, normal nav. Oh, a wide, wide strong attack one. Very good. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that was a pretty wide SA2. Alright, there's one. Wow, that's huge. That looks like maybe Koga's? Uh, the new Mind Koga's SA2, so it's like a really, 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 really wide beam, and that's a full screen SA3. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's just, because she has Havoc, she's just going to have AoE for days. She's going to be the character to, um, to really crush PvE. 
It, it's just, it just sucks so bad because we've had so many mind Soul Reaper killers lately. I think, I think in the last video where I was, uh, oh, hold on. That's cool. Wow. That's very, very nice looking. Wow. That was cool. That was really cool. Um, like I was saying, we, we've had a whole bunch of Mind Store Reaper killers lately with uh, the Furious or Ferocious Battle. The, the, the new uh, Ichigo that just came out uh, for mid month. Uh, he's a Mind Store Reaper killer. And there's been a couple more in the past that uh, that had been pretty recent, but for some reason my brain didn't work yesterday when I was talking about it during the stats and info video. But there have been a lot of Mind Soul Reaper killers. The only thing that's differentiating Retsu from everybody else is, I, I believe she, well, I know she has the Captain tag, but that's that's the only thing. So maybe like for Senkaimon, there might be a little bit of an advantage of having Retsu versus just you know staying with Ichigo if you were trying to conserve your pulls. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to double up so much on attribute and killers. Needless to say, though, she is seasonal. She looks fantastic. I'm I'm hype. Really, really great design. Lots of AoE. Love it. And she looks great, too, man. The, the butterfly wings are really, really majestic. All right, and then of course, Bay. Wow. So cute. She's got bunny boots on. She's who I'm going for. Just, you, you gotta have her. You, it, if you collect the waifus, or if you have a particular girl that you really like, you, you gotta, gotta collect them. Wow. Super cute. Almost like every single one of her models has been adorable. Every single one of them. That's cool. Really, really, really like the model. And of course, the artwork's beautiful too. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, here we go. Alright, so she's got a little bit of range on her nad, but it looks still pretty, pretty short. But that is expected, seeing as though she doesn't have long reach. Nice little dash forward, that's perfectly fine for a, for a melee character. Ooh, walking for a self vortex. That's cool. So, that wasn't described in the gameplay um, descriptions. And then she had, oh, she's, okay. So with that third strong attack right there, she reminds me a lot of white tenses on Getsu. The, uh, the mine version. Because she's got the vortex. She's got the uh, vortex plus like jump uh, for her strong attack three and the dash for uh, strong attack one. The only thing that's different is A, she has a DR link. She doesn't have long reach. <gasps> yes. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> that was really cute. All right. Do it again. Nice. Very nice. Sorry, I had a phone call right in the middle of the video. But uh, wow, Ruruka. Pff. For NAD characters, and I'm, I'm a big fan of NAD characters, uh, but I, I tend to go more towards strong attack just because I like clearing out rooms like all in one shot. But she looks fantastic. Absolutely adorable. I, I just think her, her her bunny boots are so cute. Ka -y -e. That that's that's really cool. I'm excited. So yeah, um great looking characters, great looking specials, good kits. Like they all have solid, solid kits. It's not they, they, it is, I, I don't want to say generic and cookie cutter like I did in the 
in the previous stats video with uh, the ferocious bat or the yeah the ferocious furious bat I, I forget what it's called but the one with Ichigo Aizen and Kenpachi where they were all really standard as far as like their gameplay mechanics go but these are still along the same vein but because of how they look and the character designs that just puts them just a little quite uh, quite a bit more um of above just like generic cookie cutter styles but that could just be my bias uh but definitely check out the gameplay for yourselves and um i, I would usually recommend testing or test playing the characters first before you pull just to be sure because you know you can only see so much whenever you look at the gameplay uh, especially when somebody else is playing it but when you're actually playing them getting to see how the activation times you know better be able to see the visuals all that kind of stuff you could probably make a better distinction on whether you want to go ahead and pull on the group banner or if you want to wait for the individuals you know that kind of thing but i'm super hyped for these guys or these girls rather and uh, yeah, so I'm pretty excited for Friday. We'll, we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you like it, hit that like, hit that sub button. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, until next time, I guess I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the summon video. So yeah, we'll see you later. Peace.